welcome to Squirrels of Doom. I'm Roz. I'm Matt, and this week on Drinking with Geeks, tis the season for eggnog and rum. We did my favorite holiday with Halloween, and now we're doing his favorite holiday. This one's like a regular, normal Christmas eggnog, fucking Christmas tree, little turkey. It's Christmas time. Let's get to the kitchen. Making the eggnog from scratch might seem like a lot of steps, but as long as you have everything laid out in front of you, it's super easy and totally worth it. We need six egg yolks, and you're probably really good at separating them if you've been making sours. We're gonna use a half a cup of white sugar, a cup of cream, and two cups of homogenized or whole milk. You can probably use whatever milk you have on hand, we're making super luxurious, creamy eggnog today. So we're using the homogenized or whole milk. We tend to prefer things a little less creamy. So I think in the future, we'll probably be using our regular 1%, which is just what we have in the fridge. We also need a half teaspoon of nutmeg. We're gonna use a microplane and grate our own right into the pot. Now we're taking this to a light simmer. We're working with milk, so I make sure to stir often. Next, we temper the eggs by adding a big spoonful of the hot milk to the egg and sugar mixture and whisk vigorously. And repeat. Now we put it back on the heat and stir constantly until it thickens. And we need a quarter teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Last step pour your awesome homemade eggnog into a pitcher or other glass container that you can refrigerate and cool for at least a few hours, but overnight works awesome. We're back with our eggnog. Ready to try it? We sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top. Yeah. We'd like to put an ice cube in, although, you know, that's up to you. Uh, some people like to drink theirs hot as well, which I could see being really good if it was uh, warm with cinnamon and stuff. I could see that being good, but I, mean, I grew up drinking it cold and I always think of, of it as uh, kind of a cold drink. Cause otherwise we had it the other day when we were making it and we, we wanted to get into it a little before it was done cooling. And so it was just kind of like, slightly warm, maybe slightly cooler than room temperature, and it just, it was too thick and like sticking to your mouth, but when it's cold, I don't know, it's a little more refreshing. Also, we're drinking it with rum, and I just feel like something and about that just goes together, cool, refreshing, cool on your lips and your tongue, but then warm in your insides as you're- Warm in your belly. I also want to show the rum that we used. I want to drink the rum that we used. Yep. So carry on. So we used our, our old friend Brugal's, Brugal Añejo rum. It's from uh, the Dominican Republic. It's very tasty uh, and reasonably priced, uh, which is good for us because we go through a fair bit of it. Um, so yeah, that's our good old <laughs> standby. What, uh, what's your dark rum standby? in the holidays. What do you add? Do you even add rum to your uh, eggnog? Some... Do you even rum, bro? Yeah. Because <laughs> some people like to do brandy, some people do whiskey, uh, bourbon. Oh, for a second right there, I thought you meant like that they don't put booze in their eggnog. Yeah, some people just drink their eggnog as eggnog, which, you know. <laughs> Mind blown. I'm assuming as a child, you didn't put rum in your eggnog. Uh, <laughs> I put my eggnog in my coffee. That's true. Which you were also drinking as a child. Mm -hmm. It's this like six year old Roslyn with her like coffee in the morning and eggnog and big Hermione hair. Yeah, crossword puzzle. Yeah. Yelling at your cats and the other kids. like I'm back there. So when we first decided that we would make our own eggnog, I said, that's crazy talk. You can buy eggnog that's pretty good. Also, it sounds like a ton of work. Now that we've made it and had our drinks with it, 
I think we have to do this every year. We can't go back. Yeah, it's not that much work and it's a lot better. Turns out, one of the, you know, who the funk? <laughs> uh, that happens a lot when we make our own syrups and recipe, recipe items, but. But often it is too much work or you end up with so much more than you can use, so some of it goes bad, but that's not gonna happen with the eggnog. It's gonna get consumed, and the recipe doesn't actually make a ton anyways. And like, you adjust it for how much eggnog you're gonna use. I mean, if totally. you're gonna have a, you and a buddy. That, that's true. We like our eggnog uh, and rum. It's not really a cocktail, but we're gonna call it a cocktail. We like our cocktail with a two to one ratio of eggnog to rum. Much when, science went into the decision of that ratio for us. Yeah, uh, when you look around online, there oh, I saw a lot of times it was like five to one eggnog to rum, and I was like, that seems crazy, come on. Uh, so we recommend like three to one or two to one. A lot of that could also depend on how thick your eggnog is. Like using the homogenized milk, this is really thick, and so I think it needs more alcohol to kind of thin it down, <laughs> you know? That's why we need that much rum. It's yes. because the eggnog is so rich and luxurious that if we didn't dilute it with all the alcohol, it would just be too much. Yeah. Thins <laughs> the eggnog like it thins your blood. <laughs> uh, or, alternatively, is that we like to balance the flavors. And for us, this is the great ratio. Yeah. One of the things that makes it look daunting to make your own eggnog is the whole process with the eggs where you're tempering it. But this is actually a really important process and I thought maybe our resident chemistry lady could uh, tell us a little bit about what's actually happening there. Like we learned in our previous episode where we talked about eggs and the proteins, that's the key step here. So what we're trying to do is make sure that we don't cook and scramble our eggs. If you took your bowl of your whisked eggs and sugar and you added it directly into your simmering cream yeah. mixture, you would just completely cook your eggs. Yeah, you'd just get sort of scrambled eggs like when you put a poached egg in boiling water and it cooks it, right? Like, so you have to avoid that by slowly raising the temperature. Did we actually look this up or are we just like, we're pretty sure what happens is instead of like proteins all coagulating together, it just kind of makes them change in more of a suspension. I think that we're pretty sure and that we should look it up and share with you. Or is it that they actually just don't even reach a high enough temperature to scramble, although you'd think they would if you were, if the problem was adding them to. And we're cooking the eggs, right? So that you can refrigerate yeah. and store and use them over time, so. Yeah, so it must just be about having it happen slowly and evenly. There you go. We could have done a little more research. We could have, but we were busy. Making eggnog. And, and rum. Well, we weren't making rum, but we were drinking rum. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we, I don't know that we're allowed to make our own rum. I think that might be illegal. Here. It's true. But on the private island we're gonna buy someday, no one will be there to stop us. I'm sorry, are you addressing me? Because your authority is not recognized in Fort Kickass. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's how every evil scientist, um, you know, starts their dream. So when I buy my By island, wanting to make rum. I want to make distilled <laughs> liquor, and I no one a, will let me. I need, I need a an island. island. <laughs> and then I'm gonna need, you know, people to run the island. I don't want to have slaves, so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna build robots. People want to take away your rum eventually if it's good enough. So you're gonna need an lasers. army. Lasers, obviously. Sharks with freaking <laughs> lasers on their heads. <laughs> you know, I have one simple request. And that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. I like how you went army and I went laser. Together, laser army. There you go. Happy holidays. And cheers to the internet. <laughs>